Field and today we are going to be maidening this which is the Atom RC Swordfish. I'm just going to be starting with a line of sight flight until my uh, spotter friend gets down. Um, so I'm going to film the line of sight flight because um, I always like to do that with my FPV models uh, and just fly it manually at first and just get a, a handle of it. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. Okay, so here we are with the Swordfish. I've put a 4S 3300 milliamp pack in this LiPo. Um, I did buy some 5000 milliamp packs specially, but then realized that on the instructions it says 5000 milliamps, but it's talking about lithium ion. So the, the um, annoyingly, the LiPos don't really fit. Uh, makes it very nose heavy. So I've gone with a 3300. So I'm just going to fly this line of sight. As you can see, it's fairly breezy. Um, so it's going to be a little bit bumpy, but um, you should be able to cope with it. I'm going to hook the... Just checking that everything's moving in the right direction. So I'm going to hook the camera up, just so hopefully I can get some flight footage. Um, but I'm just going to fly this line of sight. Check that the goggles are working and recording. We've got nine satellites. Okay, there we go, we're recording now. So we'll, we'll try it in uh, manual mode. Obviously, not going to trim it because I've got auto trim set on this. So I'll let I now trim this. Let's see, there we go. Trim. Let's try it in a different. Navigation return to home. Oh no. Return to home stopped. Just turn it around a bit here. Try and get my bearings here. Right, let's see if it will trim it out now. We're in acro mode. Certainly uh, coping with the wind a bit better now. See those lights nicely. Let's throttle it back. I'm not sure what that is floating through the air there. Looks like a balloon or something. Oh, what? There we go. Flying quite nicely, I've got to say. That's on acro mode. It's got continuous trim enabled. Obviously it's very windy, so not ideal for it. But coping quite well I'd say. Responding well as well with the rates. No problems there, feels just right. It's a good job I've got those navigation lights because line of sight is very difficult to see. Uh, I haven't got any stickers or decals on it, I've just left it white. Try and bring it in for a little bit of a lower pass. Hope, hope you're enjoying the... Uh, the view from the camera. Throttle right back now. See how it does at low speed. Whoa! <laughs> Seriously getting buffs around. Okay, good. Right, 
I'm going to bring it into land. I've only got one battery, so I'm going to save it and wait for my uh, friend here to come so I can fly FPV. So let's try and bring it in for a landing. It's not going to be easy, I don't think. Oh, oh dear. Seems to have lost, uh, lost a bit of control there, but I think it'll be fine. Uh, I think it was just the wind caught it. Yeah, that's all good. Let's just pop the wing out a bit. Props haven't snapped, which is brilliant. Have a look on the display. See how much battery we've used there. Okay, it's good to go. So what we use? Okay, so we only use 500 milliamps. It's very efficient. This thing is. So. 500 milliamps, we've got 3,000 to go, so yeah, should, should be able to get an easy 10 minutes out of this, I should think, out of this pack. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that is the Atomasi Swordfish real quick flight. Um, there's loads of videos of this on YouTube anyway with uh, people flying at FPV and flies really nice though. As you can see, it took off really easy and even in this wind in acro mode with the INAV auto trim on, it was, uh, really nice and stable navigation lights working really well probably couldn't see it without those like i say so and it's very very quiet as well i've seen a few videos of people saying it's really quiet and uh, it certainly is um so yeah really pleased with it actually nice plane really nice fpv plane and uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, as soon as my friend gets down, I'm going to whip it up FPV just for five minutes. And uh, yeah, should be a lot of fun. Okay, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that one. I hope you've enjoyed following along with the build video. Um, if you're into fixed wing RC, whether it's uh, FPV or foam or Boltzer, Nitro, all that sort of stuff, then uh, why not subscribe to my channel? It doesn't cost anything. I'd love to have you on board as a subscriber and uh, you'd be helping me out massively as well. Um, to all those people who've already subscribed and all the supporters of the channel, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, that helps me out as well. And if you've got any comments, stick them in the comments box. And uh, yeah, I shall see you soon for the next one.